Now that we unboxed the Nintendo Switch, let's get some hands-on time with the controllers and the screen itself. As for the Joy-Con, when you first get them and you hold them in your hands, they are pretty small. I have big hands, so it took a while to get used to just how tiny they were in them. As for sliding it on and off of the dock, it does, it does feel sort of painful at first because you don't want to damage the control. So you have to hold down a button at the back and slide the, the Joy-Con up both on the left and the right hand side. Don't, don't be scared to apply some force because without force it would go nowhere. Once the two Joy-Con are on the controller dock, it actually makes for a great control with the left analog stick at the top and the right analog stick at the bottom. It's kind of very similar to the Xbox control but a lot smaller. Like it, you, you, even on the dock you can't, um, you can't get away from the fact that it's a very small control. But it feels good still in the end. Some of the highlight features of the Joy-Con, it has HD rubble, so you basically feel every single vibration in the control. One of the coolest games that I played um, recently on 1 2 Switch is a game where you have to rotate the control up and down and feel the balls moving around in the control. It's pretty cool as you actually can feel them hitting the side of the control and when you lift the control up, they, they go up in there and they fall. They also automatically charge with the with the Switch's screen, so once you just slide them onto the screen when you're playing in portable mode, um, they'll just automatically charge. And um, so far I have, no, have had no battery issues at all, because um, when you're playing it on the TV you're using the, the black controller dock, and then when you're using it on the portable mode you're using the screen and it's charging automatically, so I don't think battery power is ever going to be a huge issue with the Joy-Con. The only issue I am having with it is, um, especially when you're playing 1-2 Switch, the console comes with wrist straps on the in the box. So basically, like the motion control had those uh, things that you tie onto your wrist, um, so does the Joy-Con. But now the problem is, is that every time you're playing a certain game on 1-2 Switch, you have to slide the wrist strap off, put it back on, and slide it off, put it back on. So it's kind of an issue like for me. Then we have the screen itself and the docking station. Um, this is basically the highlight of the console. Without the screen, there's no console. As for the docking station itself, wish there was some sort of protection on the sides when you're sliding the screen in because um, I'm scared to slide the screen into the dock because it's plastic and I'm scared that it's going to scratch the screen when I slide it in and out. Um, I wish there was some sort of fabric there or some sort of rubber that would slide it in gently without me having to worry about it getting any micro abrasions. I haven't had an issue with battery life but I do expect it to reach at least 4 hours which is not a train smash because I don't think I'm going to be out and about in the streets or like waiting for a meeting or like a bus or something um, that's going to take longer than 4 hours. So um, if you just need to learn to balance it, so when you're playing it on your TV, you know it's charging and then you can just take it out and continue playing on the couch or something. You work around it. I feel like I'm going to have to just work around the battery life. But so far I haven't had an issue. I played Zelda for about three hours on and off during the day and um, I plugged it in it was on like 25% or 30%. So it's not, it's not that bad. I don't think it's as bad as everybody says. I mean, three hours is a long time to game on a portable platform. And um, given that you plug it into your, your dock, which is basically the home the home for it, so it, it kind of feels like the place where you always end up uh, putting it, it automatically charges, so you shouldn't have to worry about that. The games taste terrible. I The first thing I did when I got the, the cartridge, when I opened up The Legend of Zelda, is I licked the front of it. And it does, it it's got a terrible bitter taste. It's like a mixture between like, terrible coughed syrup that's been open for like seven years with a little bit of like bitters and a little bit of like sour it's, it's not pretty and it lingers so just don't lick it just don't do it